sagen wir es, Daytime. Today is technically my last day of classes. Oh, I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. I decided I'm gonna wear this dress. It's not my last day of classes because tomorrow I have one more class, but today I have my last four classes. So I'm planning on skipping on one of them because I don't need to be there. I'm going to an escape room today and I have no clue why I'm still going because I'm literally stressed out and I'm gonna go anyway. I still have like three papers to write. There's one that's like nine pages long and I'm only five pages and I still need to do research on it. I'm going to go to my class right now because it's at nine and it's 8.50. I feel like the main thing I'm doing in these vlogs is eating and complaining and just getting ready. But that's literally my day. So tomorrow I might go ice skating. I'm skipping my terrorism class. I don't need to be in it. That's why I skipped it. So I got a maple sugar bacon croissant sandwich from Dunkin', which smells so good. I went with Jamie after our BBH class, um, which is this. So good. I just did the learning fair which i didn't do anything like i said my friend she basically did everything for the project um she also pretty much did all the talking of the judges came by but there's no way we're gonna win because we literally uh, there's just no way but they gave goodie bags out and there's a hold on james said i couldn't go back home and then back because it's gonna take too much time and she didn't want me to leave her so she gave me a candy bar i love that i left it off at nothing but we had a <laughs> it came with the rubik's cube m&m and this pop socket so i'm going to the escape room bus right now <laughs> there's no one in the van right now that is how much i don't know anyone like i know one person i think on this bus and i think there's like less than 15 people the 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 event was supposed to be for around like 30 people i think and less than 15 are on this bus right now this van right now and i still i know one person but he knows like almost everybody on this bus so it's not like i can just like stick with him um and um uh, we stopped at she out of sheets and Literally everyone got off to get something. I, I I already have my snacks. Like it said that we were gonna make any stops, but like the person driving is like a faculty and he speeds like crazy. He usually goes like 30 over. And so we're definitely gonna get there like on time, even if with this stop. But I just I don't have to use the bathroom because I used the bathroom before I left. I don't have to get any snacks. I literally packed like three bars and a candy two candies i got m&ms and i got tiny snickers and i have water like i don't need anything you know i'm just by myself in a van that's basically turned off with all the lights on so much to say so much to say oh my goodness um my hair is so big, like I hate my hair sometimes. Like, why can't it just be normal? And what is normal? I have no idea. Okay, hold on. Okay, so that you can understand, my school does trips uh, throughout the year, the semester, um, or like little events and stuff at the school uh, to the penitentiary tours. They also do the New York trip and this one, which was new. It's going to the escape room in Pittsburgh. I like escape rooms. I literally went to an escape room for my 20th birthday. Like I found out that we were doing escape rooms and I was like, yes, like I want to go. Three days after it was starting to be sold and I was the first one to get a ticket. And I was like, hmm usually by that point half the tickets are usually gone for most places but i was like it's okay maybe it'll fill up a week later 19 seats still available today 19 seats still available literally the trip was supposed to be for at most at most 30 people and i was like oh my goodness i don't know anybody who's going to this trip i literally have no idea who is gonna go on it like Jamie couldn't go on the trip because she had a class during that time. Rain, she hasn't been feeling well, so she wouldn't be able to go. I literally would ask anybody I knew and nobody was going to go on the trip. And I was like, oh my goodness, my anxiety is probably going to be through the roof. You know, like 
what am I gonna do? On Tuesday, I literally thought it was Thursday for some reason, and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna be late. Like, I, and I texted um, the faculty member that's in charge of it, and I was like, I was like, I'm gonna be late. Like, um, can you just hold the bus for a second? And then I was like, hold on, hold on, it's literally not today. So disregard my last text. And he was like, yeah, no, you're a little too early for this. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I left early from one of my classes because the bus was gonna leave literally 10 minutes after that class, so I wasn't gonna have time to go to the commons and go back and be on time. So I left 20 minutes early, which is fine. It was just a review. And I was just like, okay, I have to go because there's just, I need to. I need to come home, get my stuff together so that I'm not freaking out about what I'm taking. And eat something um i packed like two chargers or else i don't know why i thought it was gonna be like a longer trip but like basically it was just like an hour away also the faculty member he goes a little and she goes a little too fast um let's just say that every single person is there jumping <laughs> like in every single kind of little hill instead of it going like this it's like this so it's it, it's interesting and i did know one person um but he knows everybody so i was like yeah, yeah i have no idea but anyways, we, he um, added me to like the groups because we had to split up into three groups, groups into gr groups into three groups, and he added me to his. And I was like, thank God, because I literally was just gonna go to whoever didn't have enough people. Like that's literally what I was gonna, what was gonna happen, and I was fine with it. Escape room was really fun. It was a tomb escape room, and uh, basically there was like, uh, and it was an Egyptian tomb. We had to figure out who. Uh, we had to find these idols. We had to find. Um, Isis, uh, the mysterious queen, um, Osiris, which I think is like Hades, um, Unde or Usande, and I forget the other one. Like I, I even when we were there, I forgot the name of the other one. Bet, bet, bedside, bet, 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 bet. Beset, it was beset. We had to find like all these little things, and there was like multiple rooms. The first time I went to an escape room, it was in Maryland. It, that escape room had two or three rooms but they weren't that big this escape room was like honestly my favorite so far i won't even the two so so far it's been my favorite like they literally decorated the whole room like there was like these like moving like i had an i had an alarm ring and it just i was just so scared i was like oh no my footage um these tables that like literally it was like three rows and like they would turn and you had to like you had to step on these like tiles to for the lights to turn on and and when they all turned on at the same time it opened a box and the box had this cane inside of it and you had to and then um you had to align the circles or whatever at some point is you align them and when you align them the right way this other door opened and we were like oh my god and we went to the room it was like the throne room and um yeah no it was really fun honestly i can't i didn't do anything literally when i the, even the first time i went to escape room i didn't do much i was just kind of observing i don't know why i didn't do anything i love being in there though but i i can't actually solve much like i can like observe and like i can put in my input but like I don't like saying anything unless um, I'm 100% sure or like 90% sure that it's accurate and well I did that like one or two times um, the thing I did find the most was the blocks I kept finding these Tetris these like little random blocks that you had to fit into this board so that um, this like little pyramid thing came out and like a little vending machine thing whatever I kept finding those they solved the puzzles and whatever but I was like finding all those little things there was this one thing that reminded me of Among Us where you had to like it, it would go like boop, 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 and you would have to put it and then it would go boop, 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 and then you had to put it again and if you messed up you had to start all over again and it was like four and um, it was it took so long that was like, probably the longest thing that the that took but um, my team, um, we actually got out, we broke the record of the, like the last team and we got out with 25 minutes to spare. It was like a one hour um, limit and we had 25 minutes to spare. And uh, we were like, okay, we gotta choose like a team name, right? I brought up like, um, what about, uh, what are initials, our, our first initials, what do they spell? And we ended up choosing that, like this, this specific <laughs> initial. Um, I'm Kay, um, and we were like, well, what, what would that mean? Like, what does it stand for besides like our name? And then um, L was like, well, J K is just kidding. What would L R stand for? And then she was like, lit room, just kidding. And we were like, yes, like that's the one. That's it. That's what we're staying with. So L R J K was our team name. And then we just waited for the other two teams to come out. We were the first ones to get out, so we were like, yes.
Anyways, it was fun. After that, went back to the van and we went to Cheesecake Factory. I hadn't been there in so long. Um, we had a $25 like food limit and I honestly just didn't know what to get. And then I finally decided, okay, I'm going to get this plate. But it literally was $20, $20 and I wanted to add chicken to it and it would have been $25. And I wanted cheesecake. So I was like, nope, I need to find something else. So I got a burger. This is the burger I got. These are and they had fries and stuff. It was okay. Like it was it's decent. Uh, and then I ordered a cheesecake the the chocolate mousse cheesecake I haven't tried it yet, but it's there. I'm gonna put it in the fridge or I want to try it in a little bit because I was full Like I literally got full on half the burger Like what is wrong with me? When we went there I didn't get to sit next to the one person I knew because the chairs next to him filled up super fast So I ended up having to sit in this other table with like five other people who are a group of friends so I literally felt like I was intruding and I was just like, oh, whatever, um, because I didn't know the other table that well either and it wasn't next to the person I knew, the one person I knew. So I was just like, oh my goodness, it's fine. So I was just kind of like, you know, it is what it is. I'm here to eat, you know, and I'm so happy that I was able to have that mindset and enjoy my food. Give all thanks to God because honestly, without him, I don't think I would have been able to, to get through this day and they allegedly stole so somebody allegedly took a menu and a couple of others one person um allegedly took a a traffic cone i don't know these people i don't even remember their names so allegedly they did and one of them put their bread the breadstick in the antenna of the van for fun and it lasted throughout the entire one hour trip back to the school. It was crazy. I enjoyed my day, um, but now I'm gonna freak out and stress out because I have a nine page paper I still need to finish writing and I have at least three more pages left about it, but I have to do some research and stuff. Definitely wanna get that done tonight because I need to turn it in tomorrow by one and I need to print it out. So I literally didn't know I had three exams. I have this paper and have another paper and then have three exams and tomorrow in class, I'm gonna find out if I am passing or failing that class. She doesn't put any of her grades online. I literally have to go off of like the grades she has, she's giving me back and just see if like I've done decent. I think I've done decent. I don't think I got anything lower than a C. Yeah, well anyways, happy Vlogmas. Um, this is mostly a memory talk for myself. Let me just, I was literally, okay. Let me just, so that you can,